Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Um, today I am coming to you from the middle of my maternity leave to bring you an unboxing. This was sent to me by, I'm going to make a guess here, Fajosma, as to pronunciation. This is a Chinese company that sent me a um, notebook to take a look at, review, let you all know about. Um, context, I'm currently filming this at 38 weeks pregnant, having a really... Um, low breath support kind of a day. So if I sound like I'm running a marathon, it's just from sitting in a chair and talking to a camera. And there's nothing I can do about that. Um, as this video comes out, I'll be like 41 weeks pregnant almost. So like hoping that I won't be pregnant anymore by the time this comes out. But you can check the community tab on my channel to see because I will post an announcement there when there's any news. Um, also for context, I just recorded this like wrong and had to start over. So, um, I'm going to do my best to not let that hinder the experience. Um, so like I said, I was reached out to by Fajosma on Instagram. They, they reached out to me to see if I was interested in receiving this, um, for review and just to give you my thoughts. I am planning to be setting this up and I'm going to show you exactly what it is in a second. Um, I'm planning to set this up and try it out as an everyday carry um, because I have been thinking about moving into this size recently. Um, here you can start guessing what size it is. Um, so I had looked into some, you know, but never like bit the bullet and made a purchase. And then when they reached out, I was like, oh, okay, perfect. This is the opportunity. Um, so this is what I will try out and see what I think and let you guys know. So I'm going to be just doing the unboxing today. Um, and just sort of first impressions. And then, um, when I actually get around to setting it up, which given what's going on in my family life right now, I don't know when I'm going to have the time or energy. Um, but this is what I am planning to move into. So that's going to be context going forward. Um, when all of these are, are out and you'll see what's, what's going on. I, it may not be for May. It might be for like June. Um, so yeah, here we go. So it's, it's a really cute little box. It's made in China on the back. It's got genuine leather. Um, and the box is really cute. I think it kind of comes out like a drawer. Uh, it came with this little bookmark. It's kind of like a postcard motif. Um, just a little, a little something. And then this one is an actual postcard, um, of some sort of fisherman that you could actually mail which I haven't mailed a postcard since like 2009 when I studied abroad. Um, and so here is, here is the little dust, dust bag, whatever. We have here a personal size, a ring planner. Now I'm going to give you a bit of a um, shopping lesson. If you're looking for a six, you should know this is actually listed as A6, but it's not A6. I think in some parts of Asia, it might be considered A6, but um, like by definition, it's not. A6 is half of A5, if you're familiar with how that works, you know, the A sizes and B sizes work the same way. Um, but the dimensions on this are, are for personal size and you'll see that here. So if you're actually looking for an A6 size, and you do not want personal size instead, um, you should make sure to look at the, um, the dimensions of the paper that are going to be on the listing. Look somewhere in like comments on the listing, look anywhere, um, just to see what the actual dimensions are. So personal size is going to be somewhere around three and three quarters by six and three quarters. I have used personal size before, um, in a traveler's notebook and I really liked it. Um, it, after a while, the dimensions started to get to me for some reason. Um, and I wanted to try like the pocket size and that's why I've been going really small since then. But, um, this works really well for like wallet setups. And I do like having my wallet in with my planner. It's a great size for like a checkbook or cash because it fits nicely this way. Um, and then also you'll see this come, uh, came with a, um, card holder. So, um, but let's go from the front. It's got this little snap, which I keep messing with. Um, I saw in some of the reviews that it might feel a little bit tight. Um, 
if you put in a lot of stuff on the rings that this snap might not snap too easily. We'll see. Um, natural leather does tend to have a little bit of stretch in it though if you need to work that um, and sort of make it fit. Uh, it's got rivets on the back. It's very smooth, nice and floppy. It lays flat gorgeously, which I do appreciate. Um, and let's see, so you've got the, the snap here, which does hit here on the table. Um, it's probably not going to be too big of a deal, but just keep that in mind if you're putting like ephemera or whatever or anything that's going to be staying in these pockets for a long time. Um, we've got one big pocket on the front here, and you can feel the rivet in the back. I'm not going to be able to show it to you on camera, but it's in there. So um, if you're worried about keeping something in here long term, it might be getting like a divot or something, or maybe a mark from the leather. I don't know. That's the one thing. Um, I have been in a natural leather ring planner once before, way back uh, three years ago, four years, four years ago. When I first moved into a pocket rings, it was from Asian Vintage TN, and it was a similar leather to this. Um, I was going to say a little bit more antique, but that could just be because I used it for a while. Um, see, it like I just accidentally scratched it a little bit and it scuffs a bit. I think that ages it lovely. It's going to get like a patina over time. It's going to be gorgeous and like lived in, you know? And if that's not your aesthetic, then go back to the Filofax, and that's like a different kind of style of leather. Um, this is closer to what you get with a lot of traveler's notebooks. It actually feels similar to like a, um, what am I, what's that called? Traveler's company. What did they used to be called? You know what I mean? The ones like the traditional, the classic traveler's notebook brand. I was going to say that the one I had, the pocket size, um, something about the dye that was used on the leather would rub off on the inside. Anything I had in the pockets, any papers that I had in the pockets would, um, get some dye from the leather on it. It was super annoying. I didn't see anybody else complaining about it on listings. So, uh, and I think I even saw some people commenting on some of my videos that it, they had the same one and it did not happen to them. So I am hoping that that was just a bad lot that I got. Um, and that, um, that that's not going to be a problem with this style. So we, I'll report back at some point once it's been set up and see if that's an issue. It's nice and soft. Um, so anyway, big pocket back here, zipper pocket here. This is a metal zipper. So it does kind of, I want to be careful around it with like my fingernails and stuff because I don't want it to hurt me um, because it is a little bit sharp, um, you know, just because it's made of, of metal. Um, but this is going to be where I keep like coins and stamps and stuff. Nice and big. It feels really roomy, like compared to the pocket on my Filofax, which I use for the same thing. It's like so roomy. I've got a little secretarial pocket with a slit in it that's probably big enough for a card. I don't have a card handy, but I think that's right. Um, so I could use that for like my ID or for whatever I'm going to be pulling out first. Um, and then I would probably want to keep this for something smaller. Receipts, maybe that'd be good for receipts um, because I would be worried if it was something wider like this, it would get damaged by the rings. Um, this came with a three card uh, holder as well as a zipper pocket. Um, this is great for holding like some spare checks and stuff like that. And then it came with a bunch of paper loose leaf. It's got a, some lined paper and some blank paper. I probably honestly will not be using this because um, as you know, I print out all my own inserts um, and I usually use white paper. Not that that matters. And uh, so I'm probably not going to be using this for much, but there you go. It comes with paper. I think that would probably be a deal breaker for a lot of people if it didn't. Um, I don't know what size these rings are. Um, we will see. Generally, I just fill to the capacity of the rings or less. And if it's too full, then I, I pare it out and I take some stuff out. Um, so we'll see if once I've set it up, if I feel like it's roomy enough, I'm also going to be listing this like the Amazon listing down below. Um, I didn't say that, like I said, this is a, a Chinese company. They sent it to me straight from Shenzhen, but, um, it, they have Amazon listings. And so I'm sure that those are shipped more locally and quickly to wherever you are. Um, in the U S it's probably the two day shipping available, but I haven't checked. Um, here's a pocket closed. 
Then on the back, we have one full length pocket as well. Great for probably stickers. Um, and then the pen loop. Let's see the, I usually use a Pilot G2, not this particular one. I use the finer point, but this is what I have handy. And let's see, look at that. Look at that, it fits. I haven't had a pen loop that I have been able to use for so long. <laughs> Because I've been in my ochre molden, which has a defective pen loop anyway. I got it used, and the pen loop is like the lining of it is it folds in on itself. So I can't even use it even for a pen that does fit. But if you've ever used a Filofax, at least the molden, um, you'll know that the pen loops are very inadequate <laughs> size wise. So I'm excited to actually have a pen loop that works, but I'm going to have to make sure to tuck it to the side when I close it and sort of train it to sit on the outside like this because I think and oh, we'll see we'll see I need to get myself some new like tab dividers and things before I can set all this up obviously print everything out and move migrate all of the information back and forth um, but I am excited to be trying out a new size it just feels you know fresh and interesting and new um, and if you are looking for something like this, I would, like I said, we'll list the Amazon link below, or if you want to wait around, I'll be setting it up in the next month or so, um, and be able to give you more of my impressions of how it works. You can kind of set, can you see? Yeah. Yeah. There you go. That's where the rings are. So it's already got a little bit of where, like straight out of the box. That's the kind of thing it's going to be doing. This is like where the, um, the pen loop sits when it's folded in. So it just, uh, it tells a story over time, natural leather. And if you're uh, familiar with any natural leather products, you know that's like one of the desirable qualities. So, and if that's not what you're into, something that will scuff and patina over time, then um, this wouldn't be for you. They also have some other products, some um, like field notes covers and stuff like that. So if you're more into the um, field note size and I have been in the past, um, then that is something also to check out their shop, which like I said, I will link below. Thank you so much to Fajosma for sending this to me and I am really looking forward to trying it out. Um, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully I've got a baby by now and I'm gonna start feeling more on my feet to be making new content um, and hopefully there will be no gap, but you should know that. I think this might be the last video that's pre-recorded. Um, and there might be one more, I forget. Um, and then I'm going to be coming back to like real time stuff, but I have been posting more real time over on Instagram. So you can check me out there. Links in the description, blah, blah, blah. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell and I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye.